This is a full guide on how to complete the murder mystery inside of ERLC for the 2024 Halloween update. Please make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. So the first thing you want to do is make your way over to the criminal base which is just over here on the map by High Rock Park. It's easier to go in from the back entrance rather than paying and going up the front. Make sure you come over the back entrance. Now you'll have loads of these little interaction hints here. There will be something you need to do. So for example we can inspect the footprints here and as you can see it says follow the footsteps now as you're following these footsteps it will take you into the criminal base and it will take you under into the mines area which is where the murder actually happened by the way you will need to go to the police station first interact with the detective and then it'll tell you to come to high rock park if you haven't already done that but once you are here you can see you will come over here and you will find the dead body that we are looking for so we can inspect the id over here and it will tell us who it is so how Harrison Stone, age 57, senior researcher. And we also have a location here. Now, this location is very, very important. Make sure you keep this in mind. And then once you're over here, click on that location. And then at the top, it will change and say, investigate victim's house. So you have a marker in your game. And all you need to do is head over to that house. And I will show you which house it is exactly to continue with the murder mystery quest. Now, if you come up in the top right, you have a little menu here. You can also end the quest if you wish to. But we have a little menu here, as you can see once you've located the body press ok and it will take you on the next thing which is the victim's journal so search the victim's house and locate his journal and you also have some clues and some tabloid instructions and stuff but i will get onto that in just a moment for now just make sure you go over to the victim's house now i believe it is the same house for everyone however for me it is this house just here if you look on your map it is just over here you will see the marker so you can just go to the marker but then if you come up and and you enter the house you will then be able to complete the next thing so you have this really really awesome cutscene here which is you searching the house which looks absolutely incredible look at this this is a really really cool animation we've never ever seen something like this inside of ERLC and it looks really really awesome I really like how they've done this Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys, but it's really cool. You can see us investigating different things with our flashlight out. You can see the suspenseful music is very, very, very intense. And then the cutscene comes to an end just here and you take over. So you are now inside of the victim's house yourself. Now this is really, really cool. You can see you've got all the stuff out here. The door is open and well, it is a complete mess in here. The victim's house is completely messed up from the top to the bottom. Now over here on the table, just in the kitchen on the worktop, you will find the journal. So if you press E to read the journal, you can see this. It looks like he left in a hurry. So you can pause the video if you want to read this. You don't need to read it, but you can see some clues to what we need to do later on, which is to do with the hidden there in the mines where the door is. So they say four tablet pieces hold the code to open it. I found one piece. And as you can see, he's lost some of his tools and there are strange footprints at his sites. The construction site is next. I need to hurry. So once you've kind of read the journal, you can come over here and you can take the first tabloid, which is the first piece you need to complete this quest. Now there's four of these as we saw earlier. The task will change and it will say go to the construction site. So I'll be honest, so far this does look really, really cool. The way they've put this all together is really, really well. And here we are at the construction site. So if we come over here, we can inspect the next piece of the tabloid, which is the second piece we need. Now, as you can say, it says, come to the theatre in Springfield tonight. I have something special to show you. A secret awaits on the big screen. Will you find the hidden message? Don't be late. The show starts soon. Let's see if you can solve my game, which is really, really interesting. So you can see we need to go to the Springfield theatre. So once again, the task will change at the top. And it says we found the third tabloid, which is really, really awesome. And now you want to head over to the theatre in Springfield to do the next thing on this quest. And you can keep track of your progress up here in the top. If you are a little bit confused, you can click on it and it will tell you in a bit more detail on how to find whatever object it is you are looking for. Now, as you can see, we have arrived at the theatre. So at the top, it will tell you which room you need to go to. So theatre number one just here. Now, if you walk in, as you can see, nothing will happen straight away, but you will see the lights dim down as you enter and a little bit of a movie will begin 
to play so you can't really see anything in here but it does look really really cool now over here in the corner you will see a receipt which is what you need so if you pick up the receipt as you can see we have shipment receipts and it will give you another location here which is highlighted 3031 freedom avenue liberty county now we have forklift times one 10 shovels 20 hard hats and 15 flashlights this is the receipt that we were looking for to do with the construction site and if you close that off it will then tell you to go to the warehouse as it's a receipt from from the warehouse so head back into your vehicle now you can have to drive all the way back over to the city it will take you a while to complete this quest from start to finish but I have got to say so far from me doing this in this video it has been really really fun it makes quite good sense it all kind of links together really really well and I think it's a really really good addition I'll be honest I think they've done a really really good job with putting this together for this update and you know what they were right the wait was definitely worth it but this this is the warehouse that you want to be at so if you press e here you can actually enter this warehouse for the first ever time now as you can see you are in the pitch black darkness and you have to get your flashlight out for this now i actually think there's a bit of a jump scare in here so let's get our flashlight out and let's go exploring so we can interact with the door here and as you can see it says it's locked and we need a key so you have to go on a little bit of an exploration here now the first key will be around the back just here and then if you walk back over to this door and interact with it as you can see you can now open the door and you can walk through it now this is actually quite scary i'm a little bit scared i'm gonna get jump scared i will be honest now over here you will find the next thing now you can see the code is 0117 i believe it's different for everyone so make sure you note your code down or remember it if you can't remember it what you need to do is you need to find another key for this door here as you can see it says it seems locked get a key now this one will scan your key card as you enter it now you need to find another key inside of this room and i believe it could be in different locations for everybody i'm going to be honest but the key for me is over here on this table and then we can walk back over here interact with this and as you can see clock has struck 11th hour and you will hear some very very scary music begin to play now you can see we are in the warehouse just here and this really is quite scary i'm gonna be honest you can hear some noises oh my gosh i'm actually scared i'm about to get jump scared right now this is similar to like the haunted house thing they did inside oh my god oh my god oh my god that scared me so bad that scared me so bad what is this oh my god I can't, I'm so scared, I can't. Anyways, you'll get over here, there might be a few jump scares, you can interact with this thing over here and you can click it as well. I don't really know what it does. I'm frightened, I'm scared, there's gonna be another jump scare. I'm terrified, we can interact with something over here which starts up the forklift. Okay, the forklift is now moving, so once you've done that, you can interact with the forklift and it will move out of the way so you can walk back here and as you can see it says sounded like something scraped the floor this is really really scary actually i'm quite terrified i'm gonna be honest right now so then what you want to do is interact again with the forklift and it will raise this further up higher for you so it doesn't scrape on the floor that's what the little scraping thing was talking about now once the forklift has been raised here you want to move over here and then you can interact with this shelf up here and then once you've done that you'll see another little cutscene there which you guys will get to experience and you'll be taken to a new area of the warehouse now there isn't really much you can do up here so what you want to do is head straight up the stairs just here and through this door now this will take you into a little room here there's nothing you need in this room what you want to do is head through this door just here and you'll see this door here which you can interact with but again you need a key so what you need to do is come around this room and find a key again it's probably different locations for everyone but for me it was kind of behind the second desk over to the side there then come back over here to this door and you should be able to unlock the door just like that you can then walk in and it looks like a little closet area now there's another key up here which you need to grab i don't think there's anything else in here and then what you want to do is walk right down to the end here and you will see another 
door which you need to interact with now you've got the second key and it will unlock you can then walk through it and you can explore this little room now there's a couple of things you need to do in here so first off you need to come up and interact with this map here now what this is this is the blueprint so as you can see you can turn off the water flow it's the park fountain blueprint so this is kind of how you turn off the water flow and you can press exit and as you can see it will tell you at the bottom gets the fountain this is not good so now you need to make your way out of here which is kind of difficult i'll be honest but if you come back the way you just came you should be fine so come back through this door then back out here this is going to be really really scary looking down on the warehouse like that then you should be able to walk through here then you can walk through here and i believe you can go through this door just here which for me was the side door you don't have to go through the side door but the side door is just the door i went through now it's really really awesome that they have that whole little industrial warehouse there i think that made it so so awesome and really really scary i'm gonna be honest now as you can see it will say investigate the fountain as your next task if you go over here and you have a look you will have caught the blueprints which is what you need you'll also have it in your inventory so head over to the fountain which is just over here in the main city area and as you can see if you have a look at the blueprints it says turn off water flow turn each of the four valve handles located at the four corners of the fountain pond so it's these things just here if you walk up to them and you press e to turn it you want to turn all of them now you want to do this as quick as you can so just run to each four of the corners and make sure all of them are turned now once you've done that you'll hear some pretty scary noises and then as you can see the fountain will begin to lift out of the floor just like that this is really really insane and here you'll be able to collect a tabloid which is what you need and then you will have another little cutscene here which will be from detective Sirius, the guy you first went to and it will say we've received an urgent call for serious vehicle accident get over here asap i've marked the position on your map and you can ask for further information i've, I've arrived on scene the car's empty no sign of the driver i've set up a cordon around the area come investigate and see if you can find anything to you so then you want to quickly run over to your vehicle head over to this explanation mark on your map again i don't know if it's in different locations for every player or not and as you can see just around this corner is the investigation crime scene that i have to investigate here and then run over to the vehicle and inspect the license plate just here now you can see the owner now you may have noticed on all of the stuff we have previously seen all of the letters and the receipts it says ws at the bottom or it's signed by a guy with ws as the initials now this is this guy right here his name is walt smith you can see his location and you can also see his address and some other stuff about him he's an archaeologist click on his house here and it will take you to the killer's house so it will say go and investigate the killer's house and you need to head over there and do that now, as you can see we're almost at the end of the quest now and this is his house just here you can see the address now you can head straight inside you can explore and you will see various things dotted about but what you want to do is head over to the laptop just here and you want to open the laptop now as you can see you need a password so you need to search around the house for a password you want to come over to the safe and you want to complete it and as you can see you can take the note and it would tell you what the code is as you could see just there and then you want to run back over to the laptop you want to open it and as you can see the code will be in the bottom corner so for me it's 6614 now you enter in this code just here now you can see a to-do list so number one go fishing number two dig a site and then number three claim the treasure so now you have to go to the lake to speak to bayo now it might not let you out of the door if that's the case just run out of the back and you'll be fine and then simply just make your way over to the lake now you want to come over to the fishing shack over here and you want to speak to the guy here who sells you fish now you can see him and he'll call you detective whatever and you can ask him some questions about the case and do all this for yourself and basically what he will tell you to do is go fishing so you need to grab a fishing rod you want to cast your fishing rod out and you want to go fishing and see what you can find you will also notice all of the water is red in the game the lake the pond anything it will all be red and then you want to fish as you normally would until you collect the next piece you need 
Now for me, I got it first time, so it isn't exactly difficult. Now as you can see, the last piece lies hidden in farms and woods. I'm on my way to claim it now. Hurry or the treasure will be mine. So as you can see, next task will be go to the farm. So you want to hurry. Now I don't know if there's time limits on all of this stuff, but sometimes it does say you need to hurry or be quick or go fast or something like that. Now as I said, I don't know if there's any time limits before it expires or something, but just go there as quick as you can. Try and complete this quest all in one go just to be sure that that won't happen. Otherwise you will have to completely restart and do it over again. Again. Now once you've arrived the farm is big we have lots to search for so keep searching detective now what you want to do is just look around the farm area as much as you can and then you should come across this the barn is just over there the wooden bridge is just next to us and it's just here so if you head in you can inspect this and as you can see it says hello officer we both know the ancient code now i'm heading to the cave for the treasure why stop me and join me instead together we'll open the ancient door and again it says hurry the treasure awaits us both so once you find this that's it you have completed all of the stuff you need so now what you need to do is just head back over to the caves where we were at the start so again it's easier to go in through the back gate because you can just head straight over to the criminal base just here now i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do from here so as you can see it says we found a strange door deep in the cave so if you run inside basically all you need to do is follow the footsteps they'll take you exactly there you just want to run all the way down here then you want to come over here i've run out of stamina which is just great past the body that you can see just over there in the corner and here we are here is the lair as you can see so there's a few buttons we can click here now what you need to do is come over to here now if you press your tabloid you should have four out of four pieces just here which is what you need now this is the code that you need to put in so for me i've got the bird that's flat which needs to be rotated a few times like that then we'll go back we have this that's rotated i think like that kind of looks like we've got the flat end there then we've got a rocket to the right and the bird is upside down so the rocket is to the right and the bird is upside down and as you can see the door will open and here we have it now as you can see we have all of the stuff in here and you can continue this quest here he will tell you some stuff you guys can read through all this when you do it yourself and then here you will notice you are left with two choices you can either arrest the guy over here or you can take this a little bit further so you can kind of join onto his side now let me explain what you can do here so you have two options as you can see you have here's the deal half the treasure all yours all you have to do is relax think about it life of comfort wealth beyond your wildest dreams just tell your law enforcement friends the room is empty when you open the door that's all i need from you now you can see you have two options here you can either say i'm listing and get fifty thousand dollars in cash or you can say i'd rather see you behind bars and get 750 police xp this is a very very difficult choice for some people to make if you need money go with the cash if you need xp go with the xp for me i don't really need xp i don't really need cash either but i'm gonna take the cash just because i need the cash a bit more now this is really really awesome so what you do is you basically became a criminal and joined with him and you take half of it so you can see thanks for playing the 2024 erc murder mystery you've been awarded fifty thousand dollars in cash now, as you can see it says play again to earn 750 xp so if you really wanted to you can play again and do the whole thing again and then take the xp option if that's what you would prefer to do so you can get both you can get 50k and 750 xp if you really wish but i'm only going to do it once of course so i really really hope you guys found this video useful if you did please drop a like and subscribe let me know your thoughts on this update in the comments i've got to say it's definitely one of my favorites we've ever had in the rlc for a halloween update it's absolutely awesome amazing job here developers and that's about all i can say thank you so much for watching i hope this video helped you out and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye